Assalamu alaikum, shalom, and welcome to this video. As always, I'm not a YouTuber. I'll just share my experience and my journey with you. I'm aiming towards my final setup. I would like to find one setup that fits sonically perfect in this room and the amp, the amp I'm trying now is the Technics SUG700. Next to it you can see my old amp, the XDZ A2300. Now, this video um, has a title and the title is Bye Bye Noise Floor or I could also call it Clean Cleaner SUG700 or um, an amp that disappears. There is another or there is a YouTuber, because I'm not a YouTuber, I just tell you uh, some things uh, I, I experienced. There is a YouTuber called um, Andrew Robbins, I think, or Andrew Robinson, I don't know it exactly, um, who recommended this amp and said it is so quiet that you almost think um, there is no, no amp um, in the setup. And I just can uh, repeat that. It is like the speakers are the only things that play music. Now, I know that's the case, but it sounds like there is no um, no amp in the chain. There is, when you, when you, so, I'll, now, now the amp is turned on and no matter which amp I use, there is a little bit of hiss coming from the tweeter. But even if I crank up the volume and this is very loud, this is extremely loud, if I would play music now it would be too loud and still there is no noise there is no noise whatsoever I can't hear anything so as I told you in previous videos there is so much noise on the line in this flat maybe because of its um, it's an old building more than 50 years old now it's built in 1964 i think and that's why i loved um, listening to music at night because at night it is just um yeah the sound is cleaner there's less noise and with this amp this problem seems to vanish it, it solved that problem and that is what I like about this amp. This amp is um, extremely detailed so it, um, it, it shows details that the other amp which is an, a very good amp too um, not only for its price it's a very good amp but it is not um, close to this when it comes to detail and when it comes to um, control and when it comes to tone. But there is one point that's better with the XTZ and um, I, I, to be honest, I didn't think about that. I, I thought this um, Technics amp would be better in any way, but in my opinion it isn't better in any way when it comes to low volumes listening at low volumes i think the xdz lets the um it lets um it let 
Uh, it lets? No. Uh, it doesn't matter. So, the speakers shine more at low volumes using the XTZ. Using the Technix SUG700 I have to increase volume a bit to, to get the speakers alive. And um, yeah, that's my experience. So if you are always listening at low volumes, then in my opinion, again, you don't have to pay as much as you would have to for the Technics um, amplifier when it only comes to sound. Um, when you increase volume a bit, then all the details come and details you don't hear with the XTZ. I, so when I say you don't hear it, I just, I'm sorry, I don't hear it um, using my Focal Aria. 906. In some songs there are details I just couldn't hear with the other amp and that's strange because that's just the amp. You know, that's not the uh, the mastering of the song, that's not um, the, um, the file. I play the same songs via, via um, Spotify uh, with the same quality and this tech Techniques or techniques or techniques amp is really really good. It is, to be honest, um, the the amp that or the only amp that solved my problem so far. Uh, all these noise on the line in this flat, and um, there's the one downside. Uh, you can see it. It is extremely big. Oh my gosh! This is a this is a beast. This no, it's not a beast. It's just I tend to say it is too big. This XTZ amplifier maybe fits in, I think, six or eight times into into uh, the tech techniques or techniques amp. And then we'll turn it down again. Okay, now do I have another thing to say? No, I don't. The only thing I know is I can dim the lights, but I can't but I can't dim the lights so much that also the blue light and the LAPC light disappears. That's not possible or I don't know how to do it. This little orange light which indicates that you um, that you did or that you use this function and this light that indicates that the that the amp is turned on you know to be honest i don't have to know that but okay okay i wish i could turn these two lights off too but as far as i know it's not possible yeah um yeah what can i say the high frequencies are way way more pronounced with the technics amp um, as you might know the xtz amp is a bit rolled off in that regard and um, the mids are clean with both um, with both amps when i say clean i mean they are tonally correct tonally natural um, and and fast instrument separation and um, center image is better just clearly 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 better with the techniques techniques or techniques amp and um, um, bass response is better with the tech techniques amp 
um, you get more bass out of these speakers and um, it's better controlled. That's interesting because um, on the spec sheet the XTZ has more power. But as you might know, uh, the spec sheet doesn't say too much. Quality is way more important than quantity. And um, I would recommend the Technics amp. Like I said, um, only if you listen at low volumes, the, the XTZ is more fun, in my opinion, and in my room and with my speakers. Okay, um, one last word to the soundstage. The um, soundstage is wide on both amps. So when I say wide, I mean it is... Hoppala, so... It is wider than um, these both, both speakers are. So it extends a bit more to the left and a bit more to the right and that's the case with both amps. In this um, regard both amps are great, are really great. I like the soundstage of both of them um, but um, more detailed, more um, refined with the Technics amp. If you have any questions, I, I might, I'm sure I forgot uh, some things to mention. Just write it down. Um, just write it down. On my journey, I'm at that point that I will change my speakers. I'm looking for more, uh, for more bass punch. Um, these speakers sound very beautiful, like I said in my last video. Very beautiful, very natural but um, I want a bit more punch. And um, if this amp would have a streamer built-in, I think it would be my last amp for a few years. I don't know how I will, I will continue or what will happen in the future, but when I say my final setup, I don't mean that I um, will stop to try new things but I would like to find one setup that I will or that I want to keep forever and I didn't have such a setup if I could if if money was no object then I would maybe buy an Hegel H590 as the amplifier and streamer and um, the totem tribe towers as um, the speakers but as always costs and money is an object and that's why I'm looking for speakers and for an amplifier and streamer that is affordable and fits perfectly um, look wise and sound wise into this room so thank you very much and as I said if there is a question please ask I will um, answer within a few hours and um, have a nice day or have a nice night have a good night or have a good day and then I will see you in the next video with hopefully my new speakers or new cables or something that is one step closer to my final setup thank you very much and bye-bye.